Okay, my friends, there's some major controversy on this video going back and forward, back and forward. People seem very upset by the whole aspect of this kid's attitude, which is really overboard, and he is a douchebag, and he calls him all sorts of names, but on the other hand, he's completely correct and right with his rights. He knows his rights. He's standing his ground like he should be and telling them what they can and can't do. What I don't understand is why people can't perceive that what this kid is doing that everybody at home has a right to do. Imagine the police just coming to your door and just pushing it out of the way and walking through your house and just vicariously doing things, making up a star. Oh, we have to uh, search your house because, because there's no law to stop them. You're in bed, three in the morning with your wife. Kids are in bed. Boom! They open the door and start walking through your house. Why? Because you have no more rights. I mean, this is what this kid is portraying, and I don't get that people do not understand this. It, it really is what the kid is doing. Maybe over the top, a kid with an attitude, like everybody young at some time, day and age, you know? Can't control your emotions to that degree. You're at that age. But the kid is correct. He's right. He's standing up for his rights. Imagine that they walked in the house and your kid's friend or kid had a joint or a couple of joints. Suddenly you're being hauled out in prison. Hauled out with handcuffs. Dragged out in front of your... Like, you don't know what they might find in your house that you may not be aware of that's stuffed in the cushion of a couch or whatever. And they, you know, very calmly and politely ask, Can you throw away your rights so we can wander through your house and search anywhere we please? You do not trust the police. Their job is to arrest you. They're not there to be your friend. And when people say and define and say, well, the police are the ones that protect your life, I have to say, screw you on that too. What are they protecting? After the fact. You call 9-11 after somebody's broken your house. After you've been knifed. After you've been beaten up and robbed, raped, and obviously not murdered because you're dead but you see the point the police are there as much as they can be but basically they're there afterwards to see if they can catch the perpetrators after the fact so for you to say that the police are there to protect you I have to say aha because when that shit comes down and you shout police see where there are you'll find that your neighbors are more likely to help you and a, a rule of thumb I taught my daughters when they were young if somebody's, you know, trying to abuse them, don't scream rape, scream fire, because people sometimes will turn away and not have the strength to come forward. And you just need them to be visibly even there for whoever that fucker is to run away, you know, before something gets worse. So scream fire, just a, a rule of fact that I think is correct. Or, there's a lot of scared people in this world, and you know, you... At one time, I remember every block, every corner had a neighborhood watch that some house would be a designated neighborhood where, you know, kids could run to if you're being bullied or whatever, or strangers. I don't see that anywhere. It doesn't exist anymore. There's no place like that. We are separated from our neighbors. We don't have the connection we used to have. It sucks that some of them are nosy beyond belief, but they wouldn't have to be, you know, if certain laws were changed that are unnecessary like the complete and useless war on drugs. It's been going on for 50 plus years and nobody's ever won. Because you can't. It's uh, useless to call it war unless you want to just call it war on people because that's truly what it is. War on your citizens. <laughs> anyway, I uh, just thought I'd share this video with you all. So what are we waiting for right here? My supervisor. Your supervisor? Your dick sucker? So what are we here for? So, so, so what are we here for? the liquor bottles, man. You dumped out. Oh, I didn't dump shit. Okay, then why, why people see it? I don't know. from your window. Can they tell me? Can they, uh, actually... Maybe it might have been the room next to me, or the room above me, or the it room next to me. It was your windows. 
Oh, really? Uh, I think Where's that's false. Windows? That's fine. Where's your windows? Oh, really? Uh, can I see? Can I see the proof of that? I mean, I I, I shat my pants, and that was uh proof, right? You what? What? How am I being belligerent? Because I'm proving my point that you guys can't. Yo, can I can I speak? We have administrative rights. Okay. okay. Not just police officers. Right? Mm -hmm. Can I see your warrant, please? We don't need them. I think university that, administrators. We don't need a warrant. So if you didn't need a warrant, why wouldn't you be in my room right now? Because your fucking bullshit rule book tells me something. You go. Yeah. You can go ahead and move your foot. Why? Go ahead and move your foot. Can I see your warrant? Go ahead and move your foot. I, I, I really feel like moving my foot right now. Go ahead and move your foot. Why? Go ahead and move your foot. Uh, my foot, I, I have like a, if my foot's dead right now, I just can't move it. Listen, dude. Do you want to be kicked out of this university? Because I can, I can Wait, pave how, that road. How, how, will will pave that road. Ro how will you pave that road? Can you explain to me? I've already got a student. Well, you've already got a student contract. What does that mean? I'm not even going to talk to you. You have braces. Yeah. Nice. I've already explained it to him. So, so, so the guy who supposedly had all the power just couldn't come in my room because I told him not to. Oh, nice. Makes a lot of sense. He's making a final call, waiting around for my final call. I think if you guys, if that guy actually had his final call, which you guys said he did, he would have came in my room without a warrant. This guy, this guy over here is like four hours like, like something gets in there. Me, 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 me. Fuck you guys. You guys suck dick. You guys can't find shit. Yeah, we're not going to find you on this university campus next year. Next uh, semester. Yeah. How's that possible? Because we're going to just take over. Explain to me that process. We're going to just kind of jack you inside. Oh, nice, nice. That's, yeah, a, that's a great explanation. Look at what the wall is. Uh, the, the, uh, we came to the room. He didn't let us in the room. You ever read the student code of conduct? Uh, uh, uh multiple times. Okay, cool. Then you should know well. So the student, the, so the you code of conduct. If, if, a, if a cop comes to your room, you have to let him in and let you, you search it. Very well nah, now. your fucking dorm is exactly the same as your house. You have the exact same privacy rights. You cannot come in my room that is correct. without with, consent. With police officers, but not as admins of the university. Is oh, that so correct? what's the admins? An RA? Yes. Oh, really? So why, did, one. so why didn't he come in my room without me telling him he needs because to get Because you're consent? belligerent, isn't that? I'm belligerent, dude. Are you fucking stupid? Am I belligerent? You think if I was belligerent, I couldn't speak. That's what belli What's your belligerent? What's it, like, two cigarettes deep? Three cigarettes deep? Yeah, did you have fun? Did you have fun when you were in school? Keep talking. Like, oh, bro, I just suck at the fattest, dude. Oh, dude, I'm so belligerent right now. I can tell you right now, you won't be here next year. You might not be here next year. How's that possible? Don't worry about it. Because nice. right, everything you said tonight, it's all pretty much in my head. Nice. It's in your head. Just all like recorded. what I just said was it's in It's all head. recorded. Nice, dude. You want to uh, close my door until you get a warrant? Don't worry about that. I keep uh, it open as long as I want. Uh, no, you can't. I it's sure my can. room. So you can come into some anyone else's house without a warrant. Just open up the door. Like, no, not, a house. House. not a house. University, university house, yes. Uh, it's different. a lot different because Here's if this was university No, houses, no, no, shut up. I'm talking. Why would I shut okay. up? I'm talking to him. I'm not talking to you. No, no, I am talking. I am in charge here. Okay. This is what's going to happen. We're just going to leave your ass alone, and we're going to write a student contact, and we're going to the dean of students, and we're going to kick your ass out of this university. Oh, I'm I don't know. I don't know. Can I say something? Hush! Hush! From. I Hush. Say Where you're going? All right. Home. Wait. I thought I was talking to him. Say not goodbye. You. Don't even bother paying your tuition next semester because you will be gone. Why? See because I'm. Oh, I'm not, not, good good point. Story. Good point, guys. Sorry, I kicked you out of my fucking room. Sorry I just I'm kicking you out of this college. I just honed you guys. Fuck you guys. What? You can't come in my room. I can come in your room. No, you can't. Because I'm in a university administrator. Nice. Stud. Stud. I'm such a Back stud. off. Back nah, off. Nah, you guys can't come Back in my off. room. Back Get off. Get out of my room. Where's the alcohol? Don't touch me. 
Why don't you find the alcohol? Because there is no fucking alcohol. Hey, throw open the, the fridge. Hey, Why don't you open yeah. the fucking fridge? Because you can't without can't. my consent. Oh, yeah? Nice, nice. There's no fourth amendment. Oh, oh dude! Amendment. Whoa! Look at that! Look at all that. Look at all those branch dressing. Do you see the branch dressing there? They're draw Oh, my God, it's a sweatpants. It's sweatpants. Oh, dude. Oh, now they realize that they're being on camera. And now they're leaving. Listen, no, nice. I'm not leaving. Let's look at this guy. He's, what I'm telling you He's right 45 now, years old. He has braces. He's a loser. All these guys are losers, right? Put it on YouTube. Put, yeah. Go ahead and put this on YouTube. Yeah, I, mean, I don't care. Let's listen to what, what he I'm going to, to do is I'm going to have you removed from the university. Because. Goodbye. Nice. Great reasoning. Thank you. Yup. 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 Fuck you guys. God bless you and all those your heart touches.